It's a beautiful jam coming from Awan Jali, the future in St. Roni on this amazing one. Title of the song is Tasso Sola. Of course, if there is anything that we can thank for, uh, God for, is that he never segregates anyone, regardless of your background, regardless of your tribe, regardless of where you studied from. He actually loves you the way you are. He will still love you the same way at the end of the day. He doesn't have favorites. He will love you the same way, bro. Mm, mm, just imagine. Yeah. God loves me the same way. He of loves course, you. of course. <laughs> John K. Eh. Wow. Oh, you get there. I feel it is still number. sticking in. This is just the beginning of the summary to the introduction. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we're still, if it's, if it's actually, uh, we're still on uh, the preference, if it's a book. Uh -huh. It's just a preference. <laughs> we're now getting to the keynote. Uh, <laughs> But, of course, we are talking music. When you think of a good song, you think of very many things that actually make this song funny, uh, you know, easy to remember. And there are very many reasons we consider a song to be good or why we actually love them and want to listen to them over and over again. And those are some of the aspects that we are looking at. And, of course, it could be relics, it could be sound, it could be anything. Mm. Uh, but, of course, we have John K. here. Mm. He's our teacher today. We mm. agreed, let us sit down and learn. Mm. <laughs> if you're not earning, make sure you're learning. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh. That's the one I've actually picked up. I cannot forget it. <laughs> and I think it will keep me on track. Yeah. Remember when the city will call her? Actually, someone called me yesterday. Ngangamba, man, we should try out on this on the government project. Please, please, please. A mioga? No, no, no. What government project? Ngangamba, ngangamba, kola ko, but ujikole ko, then to get to lobbying. Ngangamba, nange, I'm past that. Hmm. I, I am not trying on anything. <laughs> no. No. You've it's, got through enough hustles. It's either I am earning <laughs> or not doing anything. Because at the end of the day, uh, I have trailed myself out. Mm. Yeah, I cannot have a seven years experience of making hits. Mm. Yeah, and I should try. Mm. No. Reach out to me when you only have business. I cannot be busy without business. Perfect. Hey, no, 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 no. I'm carrying on that philosophy hey. for the entire rest of my life. I Shiba. can't be busy <laughs> without, without business. But I've been to your Kunyumiamo, Mobi Tulekede, Navan to Bafabe Waka, with Segeda, Kuba Bot Sobrofuno, Budo, Wokunyumiamo Nabo, Ransong Aveta Gechibozi. But as long as I am out, Bananga, listen, she burned El Shaddai. Mm. We have 24 hours in the day, mm. just like Bill Gates does, mm. you know? Mm. And it's about how you use the 24 hours, mm. you know, mm. that uh, culminate into Bill Gates being the richest man mm. and Shaddai having nothing, mm. you know? So if I cannot particularly use each and every minute and hour mm. in the day, then... It's either I am learning or earning. Mm. If I'm not doing any of that, then it is time wastage. Mm. Sure. Sure. Of course, I think uh, if you cannot pick a leaf, yeah, pick the whole tree and take it home. <laughs> <laughs> so that you get those leaves. But speaking of music, there are very many factors that go into uh, what is considered to be a great song. What are they? What really makes a good song? Mm. And probably we want to explore, you know, more some of the important qualities and maybe songwriting mm. tips. John Kay has been a songwriter and an award-winning one in this industry, in mainstream and even maybe, I don't know what's the opposite of mainstream now. <laughs> Alternative. <laughs> but John Kay, let's start from there. Mm. Uh, what really makes a good song? A good song. Wow. I think it's one of the questions I, I take on with uh, a lot of care. Because so many people out there uh, actually want to know. I, I have someone that, ki that literally follows me on every single interview. Mm. And that is, uh, there is a guy called Nahasan. Mm. Yeah, he's always, when he knew- Is he listening in? He's listening. 
<laughs> Shout out to you, Nahasson. Yeah, Nahasson. When, when, when uh, he saw my poster about this show, he had to download the MCI. Wow. And I'm like, oh, wow. So, Nahasson, thank you so much. Thanks for following me. And so many people that listen in. Mm. So, uh, qualities of a good song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh, it digs back to, to how did I even begin? How did I be? Did, do you even know? I did not grow up knowing that I'm, I, I, I'm supposed to be, I, I would be a songwriter. Mm. No. Uh, way back while in school, I really thought, many we never into Yoko Yimba Yimba. We twasuze to today. I want to twasuze to. MDD. Chintu chemo kozenga, chikulunya, matu e unya. You know, I'll be joking, right? And everyone that would literally do that, eh? mm. you know, my name we are too much into literature. Mm. Uh, no, no, no. Like the po- poets of the school, mm. debaters of the school, you know? So I was so much into, I, I, I love poetry mm. and I still do poetry. Uh, so, mm. Oh, well, growing up in my in my form one, that was two thousand six. Mm. Yeah, in my form one, uh, I I go to church. But was in private. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> she was very young. Must have been very young. Anyway, but look at her. Together for get a about that. But now this is the thing. Uh, I'm bringing out an aspect of the lyrics. Mm. Uh, songwriting is uh, subdivided into two aspects. Oh, now this is where you get a yeah. pen and, pap- and mm. paper. Yeah, these are notables that you should really, really have to take home. Uh, a good song must have good words and relatable and generalized words. What do I mean? Relatable and generalized. Yeah. Uh, now, like I told you, songwriting is divided into two uh, aspects. There is what we call the lyrics generation part. Lyrics generation. generation. Now, ly- lyrics generation is more like you coming up with a poem. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm. Because they are just words. So uh, you need to choose what we call the choice, uh, the, the, the topic of interest. What do you want to write about? Mm. Yeah? You need to really know. Yeah. <laughs> Some of us first get it a title. <laughs> <laughs> if you get that, before you where buddy? <laughs> yes, I know you're talking from past experience. Past experience. <laughs> you know? It's not, that it's not about the title, no. Mm. It's always about the concept. Exactly. Okay. What do you want to write about? Mm. Yeah? Like, I want to write about beauty. Mm. Mm. You know? Mm. So, it takes me uh, a good uh, research about the concept I am writing about. I need mm. to know. I need to be filled in the know, you know? So, uh, I have to generate beautiful lines, Mm. yeah? Beautiful Mm. lines. And in a way, uh, they should be, one, Mm -hmm. uh, reflecting, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, they should draw the right image, yeah? Mm -hmm. Has someone sung a song Mm -hmm. and all you see is the video of the song? Yes. Yes, even before me seeing the video. Even before seeing the video, you know? Yeah. Has someone sang a song and you felt like, this is my song? Yes. These are my words. Yes. This is my song. This Mm. is my, you know? Mm. So, in actual sense, while coming up with the lyrics, you need to know. You need to be very reflective. Mm. You need to be... You need to come out of the shelf of the personal you mm. to the general. Mm. You understand? Mm. So this song, it's not about you because you are putting out 
putting it out for so many people to listen to the song, exactly. to, love in the, to, to love on the song. Mm. So you actually need to come up with words mm. that generalize with everyone. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yeah. Now, for example, uh, let's try it on the show. Mm -hmm. mm? Uh, <laughs> You're taking me back in my past. <laughs> my past is not that good. Very good. I've run away from it. <laughs> ah, I left let, Egypt let behind. Revive. Let us revive. I left Egypt see. behind. See that, see that, me see. <laughs> see that, me see. Now, uh, okay, Bambi, mm. please breathe in. Eh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's now, time to face my fears. Yeah, uh -huh, beautiful. Now, uh, we want to actually come up with a song. Mm. Mm. Before it is a song, there are nice words. Yeah? Mm. You literally have to come up with very nice words. Like you need to be very creative. But that is after we have chosen our words. topic of interest. Okay. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, I will not run away from that topic. Beauty. Mm. Mm. And we have one beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's an example of the yeah. apparatus for today. You know? Ribro, yeah, I said, Dere, Bobo. She is beautiful. You accept, right? Exactly. <laughs> and in actual sense, what we are looking at today, mm. uh, it's not the beauty, because mm. beauty is clearly not defined by the looks. Looks. appearance. Mm. Yeah. No, it's like having so much to be appreciated about. Mm. Yeah? So when I look at uh, uh, Shiba, mm. I, I think there is so much that I can appreciate, uh, appreciate about her mm. and that makes her beautiful mm. in a way. Mm. So uh, after to understanding beauty, because we have been conceptualizing mm. what so. beauty should be. Mm. So I put myself in a position of I know what beauty is. is. Now mm. I need to make words that actually suit the topic before I choose the what? Mm. The title. Mm. Because the title is after I have rhymed, I have uh, made hooks, I have, you know, mm. that's not yet there, mm. you know? So now there is what we call, while writing, there is what we call opening statements. Mm. Yeah? Opening statements. Enyanjura. Mm. You know? You know, Kubanga it is on you. First impression. Yeah. You know, uh, if you fail on the first impression, mm. then who wants to listen? Yeah. Walu wa gamba nti umanyinja kuba weli kula sijichigwela. Ah, ah, ah. Olimba lunyuma luta andika. Ngatela lugwa. Ochisegela. Because you need to be enticed. Yeah? Mm. Now. Let's begin. I'm creating the first line. You're creating the second line. Wow. Yes. Let's I'm do this. The opening line. Mm -hmm. Now, I I find Shiba, and the first question will be, why are you beautiful, and yet you're not supposed to be? Am I supposed to answer that question? <laughs> beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now you realize it is creating questions in her head. You understand? Oh. And she's thinking about that. So it, the, the, the statement is captivating. Captivating. It like gets her the hook. seeking All right. Yeah? Please create your next line. Should it be a question as well? <laughs> no, it shouldn't. It should. Please rhyme in. Look at me. So, <laughs> <laughs> this is why what was your question again? My what question was, was uh -huh. Shiba, why are you beautiful? And yet you are not supposed to be. Huh? Don't you think you're causing commotion? <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> now, okay, to self, Don't you to, to help self. <laughs> uh, uh, I would say, why are you beautiful and yet you're not supposed to be? And my next line would be, because all the beautiful belong to me. Sure. What a way I got it. Um, the cutting one way to sing it. So, the only reason she is not beautiful 
It is not supposed to be beautiful. It's because she doesn't belong to me. Mm. Mm. So in other words, I'm asking her to be yours. Yours. You know? Mm. It's again. Mm. So hope you're also picking up pick up lines <laughs> while starting conversations. <laughs> Get shots and right. Yeah. Uh, then I'm like, if if I said you are one in a million, mm. it would be an, uh, an understatement. Mm. Those are just lyrics and lines. Okay. Mm. Check it. Then someone will be like, hey, I'm one in a million. Mm. But I say to me, it is an I understatement. Yeah? Then I'll be like, who are you? Mm. I will say, yeah, if I said you are one in a million, it would be an understatement. Then I would be like, but you are just once in a lifetime. You oh, guy. I was shit about Mumazi. About my soul, I take it. About to try to get it. About to try to get it. Can't stand the crowd. No, 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 no. About to try to get it. Mama, me a sweet a hala. But Shiba, Shiba, let me ask you a question. Probably, mm. uh, we'll get. Um, you know, that will inform uh, what Junike will be able to talk about. Mm. What do you pick for? Uh, what? what uh, I, I don't know how to phrase this, but. Uh, to you, mm. what's a good song for you? Or what are some of those things you pick up from a song? And For example, Desire. You liked the song before yeah. even it came out. Mm. What enticed you to fall in love with that particular one? Okay, the reason that's why I love Desire is because it was relatable. Because um, the, season, the season that I was in, mm. hmm, I needed to believe that God is my sustainer. You get, there are those times where I was feeling, mm, mm, you know, you want provision, you want so much stuff. So when I heard this song and I heard the way Limo Blaze was talking about God being his full sustainer, him being his full desire, I was like, okay, okay, the Chidongo was also there, I love the Chidongo, but the song captivated, the, 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 the lyrics in the first uh, So in other words, what John K is taking, talking yes, about. Yes, it was really relatable right. to me. And then, like, I, I got back that joy. Because at that time in my life, the joy had gone. Mm. So I got back that joy, and I was like, oh. So whenever I listen to that song, there's a way I could get so, like, joyful and so hyped. Reaction and emotion. Now, this song that John has just written about me. Do you know? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm getting here, I break up with you. <laughs> or else I can just go. Get a scholarship for you. Uh, <laughs> tell you God love. God it on. <laughs> John this, is why, this is why women will cheat on you. <coughs> some of you are not romantic. You are not creative. <laughs> so that's how they get the... <laughs> that's how they get the commotion. Kasamba <laughs> to go. Wow. Eh, eh, <laughs> Let's dive into a short breather. When we return, we still have about to actually talk about. John K. the writer is here with us. She batacha at My pressure is high. <laughs> the sugar levels are high. This is a beautiful job coming in from Michelle, one of those artists that, uh, you know, are super amazing when it comes to music. Wow. Enjoy it. We'll be back in a bit. Good morning. What I can't live my life without you. Jesus, my friend and my king Sweet 16 Don't look for the me get the vaccine Cause for game, call me damn shutter Pull me for the dark Cause my brother don't bother, don't bother. Serving the most high God father Chilling in his realm My brother don't bother You are sweet down in the sweetest kind of sweetie Tell me Who can you change this kind of See, flavor in the mix like the whole 
To AMCI Radio, the, the, the coolest internet radio. AMCI Radio for African voices. Society faces numerous challenges that are underreported or even ignored. Only about finalizing the tuition payments, finalizing their coursework so that they can actually be able to do the exams when the time comes. There is no resting time. Hmm. At the speed and the rate at which this country is actually going. Peace is scattered and getting lost in the process. From the education, political, social, economics and health sectors. <laughs> I, I remember for me, I padded from, school, from home to school mm. for all the seven years. If you want the best for your, your kid, yeah. uh, Take them to school you can afford. That cow brought down a whole empire. <laughs> <laughs> the puzzle dissects and provides solutions to these pressing challenges in an informative, analytical, entertaining manner that appeals to young people. It's just that they are giving us sneak peeks, you know, uh, what a Muganda can call a kung Oh my goodness, I really feel old. Maybe to just add on, uh, we've not had a lot of accountability. Join the discussions every weekday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. This is my <laughs> office, yo. I mean, we could actually come in pajamas, you know, right? <laughs> I know I wouldn't, like, no one would know. No one would understand <laughs> what you're putting on. The puzzle, every piece in its position. With thousands of listeners around the globe, MCI Radio rules the online radio broadcasting in Africa. Join the global village by downloading our radio app on Google Play Store. We are MCI Radio. When you think about it, then we do it for you. <laughs> You think about gospel music, we'll play it for you. Five, six, seven, eight. Right here on the radio that you love most, MCI Radio. The hits just keep on coming. Yeah. Steph London Bunny Remix. Uh, when you're yes, oh, fresh hits, fresh talent, and connecting all universities. 
Download the MCI Radio app on Google Play Store, the home of the African Voice, a free internet radio on radio.mciug.org. Lessons come from my God. It's a new lullaby. Yeah, yeah. Sanyo, sanyo, sanyo. Lullaby, no. Edit you, demo, moji, mapangi. Sanyo, sanyo, sanyo. Nemuenya, nemze yula mnange. Sanyo, sanyo, sanyo. A beautiful jam coming from Isaiah Misambu, one of those jams that, uh, you know, I, I just love listening to. Apparently, of course, it's mixed well, with I some. I think Isaiah has, is uh, kind of underrated. Yeah, Shiba. You see now, I'm not yeah. a prophet. Yeah. I told you. you. Even me, I told you. <laughs> so yeah, told Isaiah, you. There, there is a group of... Uh, uh, those artists coming up. Mm. Uh, there is Isaiah. There is Zesmo. Yes. Chief D. Uh, Chief D. Mm. I think those guys are kind of underrated. Mm. Yeah, they need to give. They need to be given the light. Eh? Mm. Yeah, because mm, they're really doing a good thing. I actually find. Serious. I find Isaiah, you know, a very good writer because number one, he really knows. No, the not word. even a writer alone. He's a musician. Mm. Uh, because uh, I understand he's a producer too. Mm. Yeah, he plays quite a number of instruments. Yeah, yeah and uh, on top of that, he makes very nice visuals, mm. the videos for mm. his songs. Mm. They're really, really beautiful. Yeah, investment. Yeah, I, I truly take time to follow them up. I, 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 I find it uh, because normally when someone is there, I count that person done. I always want to see who is coming. For, because in uh, human resource, we believe in succession planning mm. and sustainability. Who is mm. coming next? Yeah. Wow, amazing. That is Isaiah Misam for you. Special shout out to you, Isaiah. You know, one of those people that I strongly do believe in. First of all, he knows the word. Yeah. If he starts uh-huh, speaking, him and this move. Mm, they know the word. And Basumba. I think that's one thing that is lacking with our gospel artists. Yeah. John K., what is the problem? Uh, I, I think it's a big topic. It, it needs quiet. another sure, day. Yeah. yeah. Because and most of the people you talk to will say your art is seeing but and, maturity. And I think I have I have done my good research mm. about that topic. Yeah. If it is time talking about it, oh yeah. 
I think I I have all We need to have you back. Yeah. Uh, talking about that particular yeah. one. Yeah, mm. but uh, in particular we were talking about a, a quality of a good song. Exactly. Mm. Uh, before we went into the break, you realized that the lyrics that were uh, what we were setting as words were actually very uh uh one uh attention seeking, mm. you know. So uh, before it is a song, before these words are sung to you, mm. they should be beautiful words. Mm. You understand? Mm. So uh, uh, before we know the melody of the song, mm. we need to 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 generate the lyrics mm. which we have generated. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, uh, a little of them. So, uh, do you think you will fall in love with the song? Gwe. Absolutely no. You did you didn't even hear what uh-huh. I told you. No, Me that Kalainov one in a million is an understatement. <laughs> I told you El Shadaifa was dating. <laughs> and you don't tell me those things. <laughs> so I now know if I'm to get you, Shiba. I know where to go. I will go to Johnny K. Guy Johnny K. Pani. Kira I want to Speaking on behalf of all ladies, <laughs> ladies love appreciation. Uh-huh. So <laughs> you get to realize that kuzanya na kuagala chidako, mani wobo zanya na kuagala. Everything is moving. Mm, you know, mm, it fails in place. Mm, mm. Yeah, because it is so easy. They make it easy for you. Mm. Yeah. So uh, now, uh, the, the next, like I told you, we have two mm-hmm. aspects of songwriting. Mm. There is that part of lyrics generation and then the part of song composition. Okay. They are different. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you can be a songwriter. You can be a songwriter but you can't be a song composer. What is the difference? That's what I was going to ask, because we need to weigh in. Now, uh, like I told you, everyone can be in place to actually come up with very nice words. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Just like you do. I believe there is someone that you write a text for in the morning. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Those words that you really want to Mm. put out, you Mm. know? Yeah. Every one of us can do that. You accept? Mm. Yeah. Now, the song composition, uh, that's the lyrics generation feel. Okay. Yeah? Uh, But the song composition feel, and it's a main gist, it is the biggest reason as to why we are still lagging behind as Mm. the music industry, Uganda music industry. Uh, It's because... You need to be a professional on what you're doing on song composition okay. because song composition is having the musicality to the huh? words. Katia Woshiba, what was that? Is of you? You know, I first heard the word vibrato <laughs> from Johnny K. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long story. Vibrato, there is also another word I forgot. <laughs> this is close to vibrato and what. what? <laughs> <laughs> now these are the jargons we are talking about. Musicality. Oh, it's your... Yeah. Uh, putting music to the words mm. that you have created. Awendongo we jiramu. Aha. Kachidongo. Gamba munonchi awembage vetus. Awembage veta andise. Because uh, music is made of what we call notes. Okay. And chords. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, when I make such a statement, once in a life, uh, like one in a million is an, uh, an understatement, mm. Mm. but once in a li- but you are once in a lifetime. Mm. That statement alone, it calls for a calm spirit. Okay. You understand? Yes. For it to be delivered and for it to mm. actually land. Mm. Yeah on someone that you really want to tell. Mm. It will not be like, uh, uh, that means it calls for a low tempo. Okay. Yeah, for it to be said right. Mm. Now, a song composer will look into the words written to understand the mood to create. Okay. Shiba, ochari kutraka. Okay, ndi kutraka. Very attentive. Nti. El Shaddai, si sobola kujane kugamba, man, nsonyuwa na awe. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Mm. It will not make meaning. Mm. Nsonyuwa. Mm. 
yes. we really, learn, really understand, you, understand? you know, where you're coming now, from. That kind of mood should be created in the music. <laughs> so, for the words to actually mean what you want to put out, mm. the music, the musicality should mm. be well studied, should mm. be well made. Yeah. Now, uh, in the notes, there is what we call, <laughs> there are 12 notes in music. Okay. Yeah. But we have the so called chromatic scale. Symbola. <laughs> Symbola. Chromatic scale mm -hmm. is made of the seven chords. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And these are called the happy chords. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the happy chords, uh, we all know, yeah, we have a G, we have A, we have whatsoever, yeah? So now, mm. this is what we have to say. What you say about happy chords? The happy chords are the rules of the world. The music creators know this. Mm. Don't create a song that is meant to bring in happiness or take them to the sad chords. Wow. Okay. You want to make a happy song, then drill yes. around happy, happy chords. chords. And there okay. are seven. Yeah. Then if you want to incorporate a sad note. A sad, like a sad feel. Mm. Yeah. Now, like if I said, uh, if I say to you, uh Shiba, if I say to you, uh why why is it why is it so hard for you to see, yeah, mm -hmm. that you should be, you are a line, you are a line that I make in every song I sing. Katunda wanji. Si baba muli na, buchanga ye pang. Baba muli na. City board muchiga has gone soft. You know, so I, I'm trying to speak a sad part of mm. it, yeah? Mm. So it will call for me to make what we call a sad, sad knot. knot. Okay. You know? So I will incorporate it into the happy chord. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So you get to see how music, music in the making is mm. more a science. Mm. But when you are hearing, it, mm. that's when it becomes an art mm. okay. yeah like you need to incorporate a lot of mathematics mm. to actually mathematics and physics how does physics come about mm. in the in what we call tonation mm. tonation is uh i think mm. tonation is how loud mm. how, how high mm. how low mm. you can go mm. the range mm. yeah there are some things for example if I say it, uh, uh, you can't say, I love you. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. No, it should be, I love, love you. you. Mm. The kind of tone, yeah, yeah? Mm. for you to communicate. Mm. So, in other words, one, music should be communicative. A good song should be communicative. Mm. Should, there should be a story you should be telling. Mm. And three, it should be very relatable. Mm. Uh, there are many aspects I cannot talk about today because it's actually, yeah? Mm. Now, it's actually too much and we're running out of time. Mm. Now, there is one very important thing, the vocal technique, mm. yeah? Mm. Uh, the vocal technique will rhyme with the musicality, okay. yeah? But you need to understand, today I need to talk about briefly what we call the vocal cavities. Mm. Uh, vocal cavities, these are the, the dimensions through which uh, sound is produced. Yeah? Mm. Then we have two types of voices. Mm -hmm. We have the head voice and the chest voice. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But we have what we call the vocal cavities. There are three. One, there is the nasal cavity. Mm -hmm. nozzle like. mm. and when do we determine a cavity we determine a cavity by the ability or by the concentration of the vibrations mm. in a given place wow okay yeah now there are those sounds that practically have to go through the nose and that is a nozzle cavity, cavity. yeah to the listeners please hold your nose 
Uh, please, let's... We'll hold our nose. Yeah. Okay. Hold your nose, Shiba. I told you, you determine a cavity by uh -huh. the concentration of the vibratos. Okay. Now, say this. I... 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 Love... Love... Uh, your... Your... your name. 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 Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, name, mm. because it has these two consonants, mm. the nasal cavity is... Uh, uh, it, 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 it runs around two uh, consonants, that's N and M. So every word that has N and M mm. goes through the nose, the nose. Okay. the nose of cavity. So for it to sound well and right, you have to actually have these, every single word that goes through, uh, that has consonant N mm. and M, mm. they have to go through the nose. Through the nose. Okay. Yeah? It shouldn't be name. Mm. Yeah? But it is name. 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 You, you, you spot the difference? Mm -hmm. For it to sound right. Mm. Name. Yeah? But many of, of us sing name. <laughs> you know? So, now, we... That's the nasal cavity. Mm. And then, we I, have... I, the, I wish I had these glasses before I sat. <laughs> Then there is what we call the oral cavity. Mm. Now the oral cavity works along with the uh, uh, with the pharyngeal cavity. Pharyngeal cavity is the back neck. Another okay. name of the pharyngeal cavity is the back neck. Okay. Now each of them there is a particular sound that goes through it. Yeah, for uh, maybe some other time. Uh, but if you have the oral cavity, if you have sound go go through the oral cavity. Mm. Now this is. We said N and M, mm. but now this is about vowels, okay. yeah? Uh, vowels, that is R, A, E, O, U, mm. yeah? And see, we have uh, those vowels that go through the oral cavity, which is uh, the throat mm. and then the back neck, yeah? So uh, you get to realize uh, they need, for, 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 for sound that goes through the, uh, the throat, mm. it has to be calm, and sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then, that from the back neck, it is a command. Mm. Yeah? Now, there is a particular song that every Ugandan would love to sing in the music competitions. Mm -hmm. But, mm. you know that song of uh, uh, Whitney? I look to you. No, no, no. Uh. And I... Hey, yes! Yeah. I will always love you. And someone will be like, if I should stay, I would only... You know, mm. everyone would sing that, yeah? Mm. But the right way of singing would be uh, singing through the cavities. Mm. And what are the cavities? Because I said... In the pharyngeal cavity, there comes a command. Mm. Uh, I've not had the time to teach all that, but it would sound the it would sound like this. If I okay. should stay, I would only be in. You understand? Mm. You realize it's different. We are not shouting, but we are still loud. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So for you to make a beautiful song, you need to mind the cavities that you sing mm. in. Right? right? Yeah. It's never just... So, Kati, we are going to go to the Bible now and now. Wow. The Bible in Psalms 33, verses 3, it calls for what we call skillful Worship. Mm. Honestly, lastly, lastly. Yes. Exactly. Uh, mm. If I bought you a watch, for example, we are celebrating a friend anniversary, mm. yeah? And I bought you a watch just like the way it is, yeah? Uh, away from its path. Mm. I'm like, I unpack it and say, here is your watch, mm. yeah? Mm. I bought you this watch. You've been very good to me. Uh, wow, I, I, I've loved your company. Mm. You will love it and appreciate it. Mm. But how about I packaged it in a beautiful pack? Don't you think it will make you think, what could this be? Yes. You will not know that it is, you know? A watch. A watch, mm. yeah? 
and you will be so inquisitive mm. and anxious to yeah. know what it is, what you know? Mm. So, guys, I think it's better we package up something very beautiful to be appreciated even before it's hard. Yeah. Before you present your worship, please make sure it's well packaged. It's been nice. Thank you, guys. Wow. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> I think this is where they ring the bell for breakfast. <laughs> But we should really have you back because I feel you have sure so much. Sure thing. Mm. I, I think we've never been lectured, uh, you know, by anybody like John K has really lectured us. Wow. And Very of course, humble. if at all you've not learned anything, I think you should blame your Sunday school teacher <laughs> for not giving you. A... <laughs> hey, so even... those of you, those who want to get in touch with you and sure. learn so much from you, how mm. can they get to you? Uh, my Twitter handle is John K the writer. Okay. John K the writer. So it's mm. Instagram. John K, the writer. Mm. Uh, my number? Really? It is okay. Someone can just Someone send you a token of appreciation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you did as well. Is uh, 0759-857702. Find me. Let's talk. I think if at all everyone would listen to their own music, they would make good music. But me... Exactly, <laughs> 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 but of course, it's been very nice having you, John K. And of course, stepping into that pool of knowledge. I understand pretty much that someone out there has really been blessed and, uh, you know, being encouraged to actually do some good music at the end of the day. Uh, Shiba, uh, tomorrow we'll be here same time, same place. Yes, fun Friday. Exactly. We can't wait to have you guys. It's going to be vibes on vibes, chilling on chilling. Yeah. To each and every single person that has been listening through, we want to appreciate you so much. You can also enjoy this digital world that we live in by downloading the MCA radio Maybe app. Maybe shout out. Exactly. Sky Girl. Mm. Yeah, she told me she was listening. Wow. Then. Yeah. She, by the way, she has a very amazing voice. Yeah, she was here, I think, last week or the other. She was here with Rocky Miga. You remember oh, the her? The other week. Yes, the other mm. week. Special shout outs to all, uh, you know, KIU students and, today. And actually, I've taken on the initiative because uh, we are tired of the talks, you know, mm. industry. So I, I'm like, John. Do Let something. me try. So what I have done is uh, take on some girls. Uh, you know Julie Amber? Yeah, Julie Amber. You know Caro? Comesa. Comesa. Yeah. So I have them in studio, and I'm trying to do a sample mm. of what I can call good music. Eh? Mm. Wow. Yeah, so you can't wait. Wow. Yeah, we can't wait. We can't really wait. But special shout-outs to the entire KIU student score, you know, uh, body. Uh, today, the MCI newsroom is in uh, is at your, your institute, your university. Mm. Uh, you will be going through auditions of mobile journalism. Mm. And, of course, the best students uh, will definitely be chosen to make a group that will represent your university in the forthcoming MCI Media Expo, whereby 26 of you still, again, will be uh, selected to join the Media Challenge Fellowship at the end of the day. But thank you so much. Uh, much love and huge hugs from us to you. Uh, let's meet tomorrow on Fun Friday. Shiba and I will be here and DJ Mark to be able to lighten up your weekend at the end of the day. A beautiful jam coming in from Carol Comesa. The title of the song is Elinyalio. Enjoy this beautiful one. And of course, coming up next will be Changamuka Navijana with Glory Jolly to actually cater for our East African uh, community at the end of the day. Good morning. <music> Something about the name of Jesus Every name is bowed down Every time must confess Something about the name of Jesus Sometimes it makes me cry And sometimes it makes me